Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and we will be doing the practical problems today which is related with paper number 18 CMA final group 4 that is indirect tax laws and practice. So let's begin. Let's start with our first uh, practical problem. These all problems have been taken from uh, our institute study material. Okay. Now, Mr. C of Chennai supplied goods, public services for rupees twenty thousand to Mr. M of Madurai. SGST and CGST. What is SGST? State Goods and Services Tax. CGST, Central Goods and Services Tax. Rate on supply of goods. And services 9% each. 9% each means 9% CGST, 9% SGST. IGST rate is 18%. IGST is always the total of IGST will always be total of CGST rate plus SGST rate. So 9% CGST, 9% SGST, IGST will be 18%. It is always IGST is the total of the yes, sum of CGST and SGST rate. Okay. So in this case, find the following total price charged by Mr. C. Mr. C is selling material from Chennai to Madurai. So Chennai and Madurai, they are in the same state that is Tamil Nadu. So when supply is within same state, that means if the supplier of goods and the buyer of the goods are located within the same state, or union territory then C CGST plus SGST or CGST plus UT GST UT GST is union territory goods and service tax okay so now in this example both that is Mr. C supplier and buyer M, they are located in the same state that is Tamil Nadu. Okay, so value of goods will be 20,000, 9% CGST is 1,800 rupees, 9% SGST 1800 rupees. So, our first question total price charged by Mr. C. So, Mr. C will charge total price of 23,600. And who is liable to pay? GST. GST is always payable by the supplier except except in the cases of RCM where buyer of the goods or services is liable to pay the GST. We will cover this RCM in a separate uh, you know, uh, lecture. Thank you. Now move on to next problem. In this case, Mr. M of Madurai supplied goods public services for rupees 24,000 to Messrs. S, Mr. S of Salem. Okay, so first is there is a supply by Mr. M of Madurai to Mr. S of Salem for rupees 24,000. Okay, now the first question is that total price charged by Mr. M for supply of goods or services okay so number a would be value of 
goods of like services 24000 and since again it is within same state so cgst at the rate 9% this will be 2160 sgst at the rate 9% it will be 2160 so the total price charged by m would be 28320 rupees now this is the first question second who is liable to pay gst as explained earlier in all the cases the supplier of goods or services is supposed to pay the gst to the government however this is not applicable when the goods or services on which gst is payable under rcm that is reverse charge mechanism now third one is net liability of gst so what is net liability gst output net liability would be output minus itc ya yeah, input tax credit so in this case output liability output liability is equal to cgst 2160 plus sgst 2160 now next mr m purchase goods oblique services for 23600 inclusive of cgst 9% and sgst 9% from mr c of chennai so he purchased the material after paying the cgst and sgst because he purchased from the same state okay so as cgst and sgst itc is available now here the thing is that this total value is 23600 inclusive of 9% cgst and 9% sgst so how to find it out the how much is the how much is the itc available from this price so the simple formula is total amount multiplied by applicable gst in this case cgst and sgst is 9% 9% so 18% divided by 100 plus again 18 percent so total will come 23700 into 18 percent divided by 118 percent so the tax amount is 3000 rupees again this is 18 percent so this will be 99 percent 1800 plus 1800 that is 9 percent cgst 9% SGST. So your ITC available is 1800 of CGST plus 1800 of SGST. So net GST liability which is to be paid in cash is 300 and 60 rupees by mr m so that liability is to be paid in cash now the next problem is mr c of chennai purchased goods at intrastate as well as at interstate that means igst intrastate means cgst plus sgst Level by paying CGST 6000, SGST 6000, IGST 12 
or thousand. So Mr. C is having Mr. C is having ITC is SGST six thousand CGST six thousand and I and IGST twelve thousand. This is ITC available with Mr. C of Chennai. Now subsequently Mr. C sold these goods to Mr. H of Hyderabad trader for rupees 2 lakh. IGST applicable at the 18% because it is a interstate supply by Mr. C to Mr. H of Hyderabad. So IGST is applicable. Now output values your yeah, value of supply of goods value of goods is 2 lakh add IGST at the rate 18% so total output liabilities 36,000 and total value of supply will be 2 lakh 36,000. Now the output liability of Mr. C is 36,000 rupees whereas ITC available is SGST 6,000, CGST 6,000 and IGST is 12,000 rupees. So we have to find out now net liability. We have to find out net liability. Please understand that net liability is total output GST liability minus input tax credit that is ITC is equal to net GST liability. So in this case the total output in this case total output liability is 36,000 minus ITC because this is IGST. So for payment of IGST you can use SGST, CGST and IGST also. So first we will be using IGST against IGST because first the same head it will be pay, uh, to be paid or adjusted then CGST will be taken 6000 minus SGST will be taken so total ITC is 24,000 minus 36,000 is the output liability. So net liability of C of Chennai is rupees 12,000 rupees. Okay, so this is first case. Now thereafter Mr. H of Hyderabad sold these goods to Mr. S of Sikandrabad. Okay for rupees 3 lakh okay <laughs> where CGST and SGST because this is a within state or intrastate transaction that is why CGST and SGST will be applicable so now value of goods is value of goods is 3 lakh okay value of goods 3 lakh CGST and SGST total is 18% so CGST is again as explained earlier CGST and SGST if, if it is given at the rate 18% that means it will be half of so CGST at the rate 9% that is 27,000 rupees then SGST at the rate 9% that is again 27,000. 
so total value three lakh fifty four thousand and output GST liability total is twenty seven plus twenty seven thousand it is fifty four thousand now net liability now we have to find out net GST liability of Mr H now so net li GST liability will be net GST liability is equal to total okay output GST liability minus input tax credit eligible input tax credit so output is cgst 27 sgst 27 and since this material was purchased from mr c and c charge igst at the rate 18 percent so it is 36,000 rupees. So this IGST in any proportion can be adjusted at the option of Mr. H. Here we are going to adjust IGST credit of 36,000 again CGST first 27,000 because maximum is to be paid 27. So this CGST liability is nil. SGST now 36 minus 27,000. So remaining 9,000 will be adjusted against this SGST. So net liability of Mr. H is 18,000 rupees, which is to be paid on the under SGST as a SGST in cash by Mr. H. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.